Um, Seligum, dear sister, and I'm really glad to hear that you have realized the mistake you were making and have decided to leave it behind you. Allah SWT only guides whom he wills on the right path. Um, in the Quran, Allah SWT says that, Indeed, O Muhammad, you do not guide whom you like, but Allah guides whom he wills, and he is most knowing of the rightly guided ones. Uh, what you have done is impressive and takes a lot of effort from you given that you were surrounded by individuals who are part of the behavior. What is wrong is wrong even if everyone is doing it and what is right is right even if no one is doing it besides you. You need to realize the importance of leaving a sin behind. When you realize the importance of a certain action, you will be able to overcome the feeling of jealousy with ease. You also need to realize that jealousy is from Shaitan. It was Iblis's jealous nature that he was expelled from heaven. He was not able to bear man whom he considered to be lower in rank than him and was therefore unable to stand the prostration of the angels and himself before Adam and Isra. Therefore, by being jealous, you are taking on the character trait of one who is despised by Allah, Shaitan. Also, if you remember Yusuf al-Islam's story, um, it was the jealous nature of the uh, brothers that led them to destroy Yusuf al-Islam and try to kill him. So jealousy is never the trait of a good person, even if they're doing um, in the in the light of in the light of the Quran. You can also overcome your jealousy by realizing that your friends are indulged in the haram act. Their act is making them happy, not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is nothing more unfortunate in this world than making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unhappy. A situation, condition, event which makes you unhappy but Allah happy is better than that which makes you happy and Allah unhappy. An example would be having a boyfriend and being pampered by him. Um, Allah's happiness will be bliss in this world and the hereafter, whereas Allah's unhappiness will cause difficulty for you in this world and the hereafter. You should strive to seek Allah's blessings because this world is not everlasting. This world is only made up of two days, one day in which you die and one day in which you're born. And everything else in the middle is just like it's just passing by and never existent. It will also be easy for you to forget that once you had a boyfriend, if you use time to indulge in seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember that there's no other relationship in Islam besides that of marriage. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that there's nothing better than marriage for two individuals who love each other. There's no such thing as in the middle being a boyfriend or a girlfriend for someone else or anything like that. You are also for, in fact, even when two people are considering getting married, they're not supposed to be alone with each other without a chaperone around them because when two non-mahrams are together, the third one is always shaitan. Um, in addition, you must ask Allah SWT to forgive you for the sins that you have committed. It is not allowed in Islam under any circumstances to maintain a relationship with the opposite gender without marriage. Allah SWT advises us to lower our gazes even when we think about marriage and not to indulge in thinking about the other person because it's not always that you'll end up with the same individual. Um, given such uh, strict uh, guidelines, the first step is to seek the forgiveness of Allah SWT because it is possible that Allah SWT was, is unhappy with your act but he likes you, but he wants you to be on the right path, and he wants you to be rightly guided. That is why he is making you the only one who is taking, who is going away from a sin. And if if you seek enough guidance, if you ask Allah for, um, Allah for his help, it is possible that you might be able to guide your other friends who are not rightly guide, who are not rightly guided on the right path once again. Always remember that no matter how much sin you have uh, done, how many mistakes you have made, Allah SWT will always, always forgive us. In the Quran, Allah SWT tells us explicitly that peace be upon you. Your Lord has decreed upon himself mercy that any one of you who does wrong out of ignorance and then repents after that and corrects himself, indeed he is forgiving and merciful. Um, however, if you feel the need to have a boyfriend, then go in the direction which will make you happy and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy and think about marriage. Ask for guidance from your parents and express your interest in seeking to move ahead and fulfill your desires in the right way, which will make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. Getting pampered by a husband is both pleasing to Allah and yourself. You're 18 and there is no such thing as too young to be married, but if you... If, and if you sincerely want to get married and do things the halal way, that is the right way of approaching things. Um, there are many individuals around the world, young men and young women, who wish to get married early rather than late in the fear of committing sins and displeasing Allah. When you worry about uh, what pleases and displeases Allah, Allah is certainly happy with you and he will certainly bless you and guide you on the right, um, on the right path all the time, inshallah. 
Allah SWT also says in the Quran regarding marriage that you should marry the unmarried amongst you and the righteous amongst your male slaves and female slaves. If they should be poor, Allah will enrich them from his bounty and if and Allah is all encompassing and knowing. So don't think that you need to be educated, you need to have education before you get married. If you find the right person, if you're interested in the right person, if everything seems right, then there's no point in delaying marriage at all, inshallah. Therefore, try hard to strive in the direction which has been made right by Allah, then Allah SWT will surely help you and guide you and make you happy. And inshallah, Allah will make you a guide for those who are righteous and give you direction such that you may help your friends get off the wrong path, inshallah.